Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, a couple of days ago, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out Power Toys version 0.76, which is the latest release. And it was a major version upgrade, which included new features, Windows 11 UI improvements, and a whole lot more. And I'll leave that video down below if you'd like to play catch up. But just to let you know, and as you can see, and just to give you a quick heads up, that version 76 now has received its first point release update to 0.76.1, which includes stability and bug fixes. So clearly there's been a couple of issues since that latest version of the Power Toys app for Windows 10 and Windows 11 rolled out a couple of days ago. Now we get six fixes, and four of the six are for Power Toys Run which is a desktop quick launcher, as many of you may know, which can be activated by using Alt and Space on your keyboard. And the first of four fixes for Power Toys Run is they fixed results list height when changing maximum number of results to be shown, setting for Power Toys Run. The second fix that's rolled out for the utility is they fixed loading.inc files icons in the utility. The third is they fixed Power Toys Run theme setting and the fourth is a fixed suggestion text margin when text direction is right to left in the actual utility. So uh, quite a lot going on with Power Toys Run, which received a Windows 11 UI update to match the look and feel of Windows 11. So clearly um, there's been a couple of issues with the utility which have now been fixed according to this latest update. And then Fancy Zones, which basically is very similar, as many of you will know, to Snap Layouts and Snap Assist in Windows 10 and Windows 11, which can be activated by using your Windows Shift and F key. So that's Windows Shift F. There we go. Uh, they fixed an issue causing Fancy Zones not to be able to zone specific apps, as an example, Facebook Messenger. So if you were using the utility and Facebook Messenger, as an example, and you couldn't zone um, those specific apps, that issue should be addressed according to Microsoft. And then just to mention this last one, they have fixed a crash, which is always a good thing, which brings more stability. And I always say whenever a crash is addressed, that's always a nice move in the right direction. So those six bug fixes now rolling out for version 0.76.1. And as mentioned, if you'd like to play catch up, go check that um, version upgrade video I did post a couple of days ago if you'd like to see a couple of the new features and check those out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.